Welcome to These Are the Blades of Our Lives, the skating show where I talk to you about skating like it is drama for your mama. On today's episode, Russian Test Skate, the Ladies Long Program, the last of the events, but far from the least. This was emotional. This was an emotional roller coaster for me. My family probably thought I lost my mind. Getting right into the heat of things, we have Maya Cromage with possibly a two-quad program. With two quads in her arsenal, you can see Maya com- Maya's confidence is rising. She didn't land both here. However, this is just a matter of time. Maya is looking like she may become a dark horse, a game spoiler, if she manages to get both quad in her program and if some of the other contenders falter during the season. I'm really interested to see what the Tuberetsi team does with Maya. While on the other hand, Dara Usheva, lovely as ever, um, one skater that I really do like to see on ice because she has so much ice presence, because she feels the music just doesn't have the tech power to compete with the other contenders. For me, there is something special about Daria. However, skating right now doesn't really reward her kind of special. Right now, I think ultra C skills are more valuable to have in your arsenal than, you know, skating skills, um, performance abilities, or, or any of the artistic aspect of figure skating. However, in competition, you never know. You never know. Maya might surprise us, but honestly, technically speaking, she simply doesn't have the numbers to compete. My heart broke for Senya Sanisana. This was just not her night. And after that beautiful short program, I really was hoping she would have a great long and just put everything together because she, again, is such a special skater. She does have that that it factor that you cannot teach to a skater, that presence on ice, um, that thing that kind of pull you into her performance. She has all of that. And she also has a quad in the making. It it didn't go so well um doing this event. And you can you could kind of tell from the beginning of the program when, when she fell on the quad, the energy was sort of sucked out of her. However, she has such lovely qualities in those in-between moments where skating is supposed to happen skating happens um with with her so i really hope that this competition doesn't discourage her and that she really does put her best foot forward this season because i feel she has so much potential and so much to give to to skating as for miss aliona i was born to be a diva costanaya she landed her triple axel thank you skating gods Thank you. Yet even with a clean triple axel in the long program, it's easy to see that Kostanaya's self-confidence is gone. That self-assuredness which made her so appealing is dented. With Kostanaya, we are now seeing her doubting herself. We see her showing vulnerability, which was not something she showed the two previous seasons before she made her transfer to Plushenko and then back to Iteri. While this is also part of her growth process, this is what's going to make her a more complete full skater, it's still heartbreaking to see her be so down on herself when we're used to seeing her so dominant um, prior to the um, pandemic. I would like to say my anxiety towards Kostanaya making the Olympic has decreased, Unfortunately, I'm going to have to reserve my judgment until after I see a couple more competition. Um, as for Miss Anna Shabakova, I feel like Anna is coming back from injury. And as such, we really cannot determine her full potential. Because after all, Anna may look fragile. At her core, she is a fighter. A fighter not to be discounted. How many times was she discounted last season? 
I myself discounted it her last season because those jumps were barely getting off the ground. I was like, there is no way she could do it. And Anna was like, oh, hold my skates. I'm going to show you. So I feel like I really cannot pass a judgment on Anna until she has time to fully recover and then comes back fighting. So we're going to have to wait and see with Anna. Ah, Empress Elisabetta took the Misheva. Um, the Empress had a couple of rough patches in her long program. However, I'm not overly worried by this. Compared to previous test gate, Elisabetta seems to be on track. And also, I have faith that Professor Mission is properly pacing her athlete for the her athlete his athletes for the long season. I feel like he's really good at getting um his athletes to peak at the right time when they need to peak. Um, because Elisabetta really doesn't have to be great at every competition. She just has to be really good and keep herself in the mix. Um, I had hoped that Camila Valieva, um, Camila, Camila Valieva's long program would be changed at the last minute. However, it is not to be. War Horse Bolero, it is. This is what we're going to get. It's honestly not my favorite program. However, I still think given all of Camilla's inherent talent and skills, she's still in the run for a gold medal, if not the front runner. I also think, you know, the politics is behind her. Um, the judges have proven time and time again they love a new fresh face. So I don't think, you know, this showing in any way showed her full potential. So I think we're going to have to wait for the season to see what she does. What a historic end to the night. Alexandra, quad queen Trusova, landed five quads in her long program. I made a previous video asking if a five quad Trusova could compete with the men. And tonight I got my answer. Trusova was like, what? Not only can I compete, but I will go in to win. And I think she could. She could win. This was truly impressive. Her hard work and determination paid off. Congratulations, Quad Queen Trusova. I hope she's able to keep this up during the, um, the season because to see that in an official competition would be epic. Um, I'm really looking forward to this Olympic season, and I hope all of the competitors stay healthy. Um... At this time, it would be very hard for me to say which three Russian ladies will make it to the will make it to the Olympic. Who do you think will make it to the Olympic? Which Russian lady will be the last one standing when the bloodbath is over? Let me know in the comments below.